Hey beauty babes and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little demo and review for you. In a recent Mailbox Monday video I shared that I got the um, Mia Mariu, I believe that's how it's pronounced, uh, Create Your Perfect Canvas foundation set and it comes with the uh, mineral foundation primer, the mineral foundation, and then mineral concealer. The foundation does come in a cream, powder, or liquid formula. I did get the liquid and so I was sent these via Thomason to review and so I thought it'd be fun or, or give you guys a better idea of the review if I just did a demo showing you guys how it applied, what it looked like, and all that as well as telling you my thoughts. I have been wearing it for the past week and um, so I will just go ahead and get into the demo so you can see how it applies and I'm kind of doing a little talk through as I'm applying it so you, you know, see what I think. So it's a little mini review and then I will have some more information as well as links on my blog agapelovedesigns.com if you'd like to stop there and check it out. Okay, so we're going to start off with the primer. This primer is really interesting. It's, it's kind of very liquidy. They pour it here, you kind of see the consistency there, um, which is a little bit different than most primers that I'm used to that are more, a little bit thicker in texture. I might have grabbed too much because I was showing you guys how it <laughs> looks, but oh well. It almost feels like it goes from like a liquid to powder feeling. Okay, so while that's drying before I put on anything else, I'm just gonna read a little bit about it. It says, creates a smooth facial canvas, allowing the foundation to glide on seamlessly, leaving a fresh natural look that lasts all day. Our min mineral primer is power packed with antioxidants that will offer you the healthy benefits of Lykee. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It's L-Y-C-I-I. So Lykee, I'm not sure how, I'm not fancy. Um, fruit, so aloe, milk thistle extract, white white tea and vitamin A and E. It says your skin will love you for it. Apply after moisturizer, which I did already put my moisturizer on before this, and before concealer and foundation, and it's oil free. All right, it says step two, I'm reading the little book here, um, is to apply the concealer. I typically do apply concealer last, um, just to, because I usually only use it under my eyes just to brighten up my eyes, but I will go ahead and just follow their recommendation. Um, I don't, most people, you know, need to, apply, or not need to, but depending on your skin, you might want to apply concealer in any other places, but the only place I really put concealer on is under my eyes. And so I got the, sorry about that, a cream concealer. And this one is in uh, Miel, M-I-E-L is the shade. So anyways, I'm just going to rub my finger around in it to use the warmth of my skin to apply it. And just take that to my under eyes and dab, dab, dab. It does a really great job of concealing. I'm just used to a lot uh, of using a brightener under my eyes, actually, but. What is on my nose? Okay. I'm not going to apply it over my um, eyes just because I. I'm going to put eyeshadow there and I don't want any other product there. But there we go, dab, dab, dab. And as you can see, it does a really great job of concealing my under eyes. And again, this the, the color is more like just true to my own skin tone, not anything brighter. Um, and that's just preference. I prefer something brighter, but this works just great as well. And I don't normally do this, but I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit here because I do have that redness around my nose that most of us women get. It doesn't take much. This stuff is pretty thick, and I'm used to a lot more thinner form formula, thinner consistency on my face. And there we go. After the concealer. 
Um, and let me just tell you a little bit about the concealer. It says, uh, our cream concealer is an oil-free, high-intensity formula that effectively covers imperfections like dark spots, discoloration, and blemishes for a perfect and even tone. Perfectly ba balanced to match your skin tone perfectly without ash tones or chalky look. Can be used to camouflage rosa rosacea and severe pigmentation. Contains vitamin A, C, and E. So that's actually really nice. Now they have three different kinds of foundations. They have liquid, um, mineral cream foundation, and then mineral found, uh, <laughs> mineral powder foundation. I decided to get the mineral liquid foundation. So uh, this is actually a really thick, full coverage foundation. I found um, I've been using it the last couple weeks, and um, I feel like it dries really quickly. Um, so you really want to get it on and, and because it is thick, you, you, um, you want to just apply a little bit on at a time and if you need to build it up, go ahead and do that. So I like to just squirt a pump a little bit. It does have a pump and I like to pump just a little bit in my hand like this. And then I will just take a little bit on my finger and kind of dab wherever I need it all over my face. And I'm used to doing this in my bathroom, not in front of my camera here, so if I'm looking off, it's because I'm kind of sort of using the viewfinder as <laughs> a mirror. So I've kind of dabbed it all over. I do have my little mirror here, which I will kind of look at. Okay, now that I kind of got it over, I've got my damp... Um, Beauty sponge. This one is from Real Techniques. I absolutely love this and I need a new one because this one's starting to get old on me. Worn out, I guess would be the word. So, like I said, it's already damp and I'm just kind of kind of spread it all around. I am very much so used to a lot, like I said before, I think I already just said this, um, thinner consistency foundations, especially in the summer, I, I usually only do um, BB creams or tinted moisturizers. So this did take a little bit of getting used to for me. <laughs> there was kind of a learning curve when it, when it comes to applying. And so I found that this is really the best way because the moisture in the sponge um, really takes away the, the dryness of this formula, for me at least. And my skin is already um, more on the dry side. So I'm just going to check and make sure I got it all blended out. And evenly distributed. And see right now, see I'm kind of feeling like I need to add a little bit more concealer. That's why I usually do um, foundation first. I don't like when it gets too built up on my nose, but I'm gonna take some of the excess off there. Blend, blend, blend. And then after I apply, I like to go ahead and go in with a dry uh, kabuki brush, foundation brush, and just kind of swoop that all the way around my face. Especially in like the places where we have I have like fine lines or wrinkles so I feel like going over it with a brush really helps to pick up any of the excess product that might be you know finding its way in and the fine lines and creases so it doesn't look cakey later on throughout the day Definitely want to make sure to get over here above our lips. We really blend downwards. Okay. So just checking the rest of my face. A little bit more in the cracks there. And this is the finished result.
Now I will say that um, because this was a little bit of a learning curve for me, there were some days that I applied this and it was just really too thick and I felt that it did look and feel caked up um, after a little while of wearing it. Um, but as I got used to um, the thicker consistency and how quickly it did dry, I just um, kind of readjusted to how it, how <laughs> how I showed you guys I applied it here in this demo, and I feel like that really works the best for applying it. Um, it really gives like a nice even coverage. It is very full coverage, I think, and I you can build it up. Um, but like I said, if you put too much on at first, it kind of dries and gets kind of caked up. You definitely don't want that. Like I said, I really love going in with the damp beauty. Um, sponge and then kind of going over it with a um, foundation brush an empty foundation brush uh, to really kind of pick up and clean up anything else and blend it out and it gives you a really nice flawless look um, I can say that this lasts for about anywhere from six to eight hours depending on where you're at and what you're doing so there were days where I wore it and I was pretty much in air conditioning um, home all day in my home all day air condition and it lasted um, pretty much you know for eight hours straight didn't really budge or look bad or anything and then the other day I was in, uh, at home for most of the time and then I had to be outdoors for a little while and as I wet and stuff like that it kind of did um, break up a little bit and kind of looked a little bit cakey I don't know it was eh, it just depended but at that point it was about you know six hours in and then that's when it started doing that but for the most part it is pretty long lasting Um, let me just read a little bit about the foundation. It says, deliver oil-free, luminous, all-day coverage while delivering the benefits of natural minerals and vitamins. Reduce the appearance of pores, obtain a perfectly matched radiant tone, and enjoy a flawless, all-day fin uh, refined finish available in liquid cream or loose powder. It's hard for you guys to see here on camera, but um, it really does seem like it gives a nice, smooth texture. You know, like my skin looks very smooth and nice. It just makes for a really uh, nice canvas, you know, to get a really nice even skin tone. Um, I will probably go ahead and put some more concealer on my eyes because I don't like that it still looks a little bit dark there. Um, but again, that's probably just because I'm used to wearing something a little bit brighter, like a brightening concealer, um, not something that's perfectly matched with my skin tone. But I mean, as you can see, it does kind of really even out my skin tone, which is really nice. So that is all for my demo here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to stop by the blog agapelovedesigns.com. I will go ahead and probably post some before and after photos there as well as links and stuff to the site and more information. The stuff that I read but just kind of written out if you would like to read it for yourselves um, and all that good stuff. Um, but until next time, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.